This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we're going to take a look at managing Azure Virtual Desktop for multiple customers using Parallels RAS. This is the Parallels RAS console, and we've landed on the Site Overview page. This provides a high-level overview of all components. The Design tab allows you to get a graphical overview of the deployment with all components such as gateways, connection brokers, and providers such as Azure Virtual Desktop. Opening up the Providers tab, notice that two providers are already created for two different customers. Both of them are of type Azure Virtual Desktop. Each points to a separate Azure subscription using a dedicated application ID. Opening up a provider shows the details such as various URLs for the Graph API, the Azure Resource Manager, and other integrations, including the tenant ID and subscription ID we're going to use. The Credentials tab shows the service principle and application ID details and allows configuring AD as well as Azure AD. The Advanced tab can be used to configure storage optimizations. Parallels RAS automatically changes disk types of deallocated AVD hosts to save Azure consumption. Again, these are two different providers pointing to two different customer subscriptions. Before diving into Azure Virtual Desktop as the provider, Parallels RAS also has direct integration with other providers like Hyper-V, VMware, Nutanix, Scale Computing, Amazon, Azure, and much more. This allows you to create full hybrid and multi-cloud scenarios using the same Parallels RAS console. For each provider, Parallels RAS includes an easy-to-follow wizard to configure the provider itself. Later on in this video, we will walk you through the AVD wizard. Let's now take a look at the end result after the wizard completes. Inside the Azure Virtual Desktop section, two workspaces are visible. These are AVD workspaces managed from within the console. Workspace 1 points to Customer Subscription 1, and Workspace 2 points to Customer Subscription 2. Inside the Host Pools tab, two host pools are visible. Again, these are AVD host pools managed from within the console. The General tab shows information like name, location, resource group, and connected workspaces and app groups. The Configuration tab shows multiple details, like host pool type, publishing type, and settings related to load balancing and licenses. You can also set the host pool to validation mode here. The Autoscale tab contains a link to the template image. Parallels RAS comes with full template image automation, which we'll discuss later in this video. This tab allows you to configure auto-scaling in great detail using thresholds. The Hosts tab shows the AVD hosts that are joined to this host pool. The Assignment tab allows assigning AAD groups to this host pool to provide access for end users. The User Profile tab allows full configuration of FS logics. The deployment method can be selected and Parallels takes care of the installation and configuration in a fully automated way. You can provide the location of the FS logics profile disks, which can be SMB and Cloud Cache. Set the disk format, disk type, and the default size. Furthermore, you can also configure FSLogix advanced settings by going into the advanced section. The host pool settings tab allows configuring settings like drag and drop of files, RDP short path, and drive redirection cache to speed up traversing files and folders coming from a redirected drive. And lastly, the RDB printer tab allows configuration of the universal printing technology, which is also part of Parallels RAS. Now switching to templates. Here we can see two template images, one for each customer. Note that template one shows it needs an update. This is Parallels constantly checking the Parallels RAS agent and all the components. To update, simply right click and select Upgrade All Agents to perform the upgrade remotely. When opening up a template, the General tab shows the naming convention and high availability settings based on availability sets. The Settings tab allows configuring a Keep Available Buffer and even options to remove and recreate the allocated VMs to save additional costs. The Host tab allows changing the VM size and shows the networking information. The Preparation tab allows configuring SysPrep and RESPrep. RESPrep is our optimized version of SysPrep, providing a faster imaging experience. We can also configure AD locations when using AD. Note that these resources are being created in a dedicated OU for Customer 1. And finally, the Optimization tab. Here we can apply over 140 different image optimization settings to increase performance and user density. The Hosts tab provides insights into AVD hosts. 
When opening up a host, details on the host are visible, including disk optimization status. The Sessions tab provides an overview of all active, idle, and disconnected sessions. When opening up a session, we have detailed insights into the session, which provide logon details, session details, and use experience settings such as transport protocol, latency, and client details. And finally, the scheduler allows creating standard actions and any custom actions on these AVD hosts. Parallels RAS also has full branding and white labeling capabilities using the concept of themes. Note that we have two custom themes created, one for customer one and one for customer two. When opening up the customer one theme, the access can be configured. A pre logon message can be set and the URL to access the theme can be set. In this case, it's forward slash customer one. We can also change custom logos and titles, colors, and multiple languages, and we can also select the default language. We can provide pre-logon messages, input prompt languages, gateway settings, settings related to EULA and cookies, and provide full branding of the Windows client. Also note that these two customers are configured to use their own preferred MFA provider. Diving a little deeper into that, Go to Connections and MFA. Here you can see that two MFA providers are created, one for each customer. Customer 1 wants to use Microsoft Authenticator, and any related settings can be configured here. And Customer 2 chose to have Google Authenticator. Parallels RAS can integrate with any RADIUS or TTP provider, but also supports using other IDPs, like for example Azure AD. And finally, to publish resources for Azure Virtual Desktop for these two customers, let's go to Publishing. Note that two resources are already published here. Customer 1 has a desktop published coming from Hospital 1. And here we can change the publishing details like icons, desktop size, and multi-monitor settings. The Filtering tab allows you to configure who has access based on Azure AD groups. But you can also define more detailed access based on filtering. When creating a new filter, you can allow or deny access based on the context of the user, including groups, themes, client devices, IP addresses, and much more. If needed, you can also use Azure AD as the IDP and use any conditional access policy in there. And finally, you can also place shortcuts into the desktop and start menu in an automated way. This concludes our tour in the Parallels RAS console, but there's more. Parallels RAS also comes with an admin portal, which is fully web-based. From here, you have access to the same configuration and gets insights into providers, user sessions, publishing resources, and much more. For example, our full integration with Let's Encrypt for automated certificate management. Switching to the user side, let's take a look at how end users from these two customers are able to log on and access their resources. Parallels RAS has dedicated clients available for Windows, iOS, macOS, Android, Chrome, and much more. This is our web-based client. A user from Customer1 has access to the branded portal of Customer1. While logging on, MFA is integrated. Recall, this customer was configured to use Microsoft Authenticator. Once logged on, a user can make any changes to optimize his remoting experience. Furthermore, the user can also change cookie settings change his password, and download the Parallels RAS client manually. This user has access to a single desktop, but recall that Parallels RAS has full integration and supports full hybrid and multi-cloud as well, so a mix and match of those resources can also be available here. Favorites can be managed by the user, and the desktop can be opened in the web client as well as the Parallels RAS client. Note that the AVD client is launched and the desktop is now ready to use. In this case, it's based on a Windows 11 Enterprise multi-session OS. RDP short path is also configured by Parallels RAS and results into only 11 milliseconds latency and a great user experience. Now switching to user number two. He has access to the branded portal of customer two. In the same way, this user can log on. And because customer two decided to have a Google Authenticator to be used, the user is now prompted to use that. In this case, this is the first user logon, so the user is guided through the MFA process. Once complete, user 2 of customer 2 can access the dedicated AVD desktop coming from their subscription. 
This completes our walkthrough of Parallels RAS as the platform to create and manage multiple AVD environments for different customers coming from different Azure subscriptions. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels TechBytes series.